philosophy is if you're a man at night, you got to be a man in the morning. So Ooh. if I go out all night and I go dancing and I'm drinking, you know what? I still have a job to do and I ha still have a goal to do. <clears throat> I like that. I, I have a feeling my co-host, that that's what you live by, right? If you're a man at night, then you got to be a man in the morning. Okay, <laughs> Ryan, good luck to you. We'll be watching. Uh, thank you. How are they going to get enough material? <laughs> what was the question that stumped him? <laughs> what, 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 what a woman can say. Oh, what, what a woman can <laughs> I guess silence uh, impresses him. No, it's just a woman couldn't say anything. He is good looking. I need to do some oatmeal on that. Seriously, how are they going to put together like 22, 13 weeks of programming? <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, he is cute. Did you see the plaid? Yeah. And you, you should loosen your tie like that because that's sexy. It really is. Woo! What did he say? I'm a man at night. What is it? You know, I'm a man at night and a man in the morning. We got a we got a lash. We got a lash off. Uh, let me oh tell you about God. this, you know. Norton. <laughs> and it's likely one of those international cities might stop. Oh, scared the shit. I'm working here, man. How you doing? Uh, yeah, you better do what we tell you. There's a sky full of strats. Better grab an umbrella. I make it rain. I make it rain on them homes. I make it rain. I make it rain on them roads. I make it rain. I make the highs and the lows, I make it rain. I make the rain and the snow. If I tell you a storm's coming, I'm not lying. Predict so well, you'd swear I'm a Mayan. <laughs> it's your birthday, I'll let it pass. Thank you. No, I won't, I'll get you later. Okay, now this is just the normal iPhone, is it? This is just the normal iPhone 6. Yeah, I didn't want okay. to be Okay, all right. We're What's doing the reveal. Name? His name's Jack. Oh! Coming up, I'm right here in Times Square, and I know he's here somewhere, and I cannot wait for the moment I can say I met. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> I think it was the one that said I was looking for Kristen Thorne is in Smithtown in Suffolk County tonight. She can... We have not gotten into the worst part of this storm yet. That is to come a little bit later on tonight. So, uh... Obviously, uh, here at the College of Charleston, they're uh, already having a good time. I compare winter to be the Justin Bieber of seasons. It was kind of cute and exciting when it first started out, and now it's a bit obnoxious and should probably just stay in Canada. And I said, what are you doing running? And you're saying it was really good out? It's the perfect texture for running. Very low impact on its dry snow so your feet don't get wet. We've seen a lot of people out here, like he said, running, sledding, just enjoying it. One thing, oops, that can happen. Shots. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Thanks for joining us tonight. It appears it was a busy day for responders. Firefighters also were called to a Sam's Club in Bismarck to help extinguish a trash fire in the parking lot. Around 8.45 yesterday morning, the Bismarck Fire Department responded to a report of a trash fire in the parking lot of Sam's Club. A driver from Waste Management had pulled into the parking lot and emptied the garbage truck's contents after noticing smoke coming from the top. The fire department used approximately 500 gallons, I repeat, 500 gallons of water and foam to extinguish the fire. There were no injuries at this incident. Getting home to see family can cost a lot of time and money, especially if you're flying. Add in all the baggage fees, the weight limits, and airport lines, it's enough to send any frequent flyer packing. But reporter Kay Cooley introduces us to a new product that can help you avoid all of those things. 
To get your own hands on some wearable luggage, you'll have to go online. The product line is based in Europe and starts at around $100. That's a, that's a bargain for a Jack Togo, if you ask me. It's a sure sign that the holiday season is here. Santa Claus gets spotted coming to town. Excited kids had to patiently wait for their turn on the big man's lap. Children and families first get to wave to Santa as he par parades through Mandan. Kids then line up to get their picture taken with him and Mrs. Claus. Although some kids were a little shy to sit on Santa's lap, others couldn't wait to tell him what's on their list. Along with Santa's visit, families can enjoy uh, wagon rides, caroling, and some mores <laughs> in downtown Mandan. And maybe they'll get a Jack Togo. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> you never know. All right. Keep it here. Still to come on KX News tonight. There's been a bit of a hairy situation this month. One reason why. But first, meteorologist Jared Piepenberg lets us know if you'll want the extra facial warmth this weekend. He's in the Dakota Storm Center next. And now Jared joins us with a, a first look at the forecast. Jared, how are you? Yourself. I'm doing great. Yes. Uh, last time I saw you, you were a lot heavier. I feel like you lost like 50 pounds. <laughs> yes, I've lost just a little bit of weight. Well, well it's good so. for you. Thanks, thanks for noticing. Good for you. There is a uh, North Dakota winter for you. It's mm. coming this way. It's coming. There's no escaping it. <laughs> right. yes. Amber, you look lovely tonight. Thank you, Ron. You too. Are you married? No. <laughs> well, I am, so don't give me ideas. It's not too often you can call a sheriff's deputy a dummy and get away with it, even though I have. But in rural <laughs> Slope County, North Dakota, there's an exception. An old Crown Victoria sits and waits to surprise speeders who may travel through the county seat of Amidon too fast. Here's more on the deputy who's been causing double takes for more than 20 years. Although the actual sheriff says the town of Amidon is more known for its fairgrounds and church, many residents say the squad car usually sticks out as the most memorable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, well, I have no idea. <laughs> There's no love lost when it comes to the rivalry between the Austin Bruins and Bismarck Bobcats. We'll see what happens. I don't know. It's a tough call. I've never seen fighting in a hockey match before. No. That was neither. fascinating. Thank you, John. No problem. <laughs> Still to come tonight. One local man wins a bet by more than just a hair. <laughs> Why he and his wife are relieved. November is over. It can get pretty cold this time of year, and a lot of men choose to forego their razors or trimmers for a little thing called No Shave November. <laughs> Sheldon says he was going to shave his beard after Thanksgiving, so I'm sure he's feeling a little bit more of a breeze on his face right now. Mm -hmm. And there's also Movember for mustaches. I'm fond of those. <laughs> Ron, I was wondering about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How long did it take you to grow that bad boy? This about 20 minutes. <laughs> Impressive. You guys did a good job tonight. Impressive. I can't wait you to do. do it for real. That was a good warm-up. Yes, very good warm-up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, well, we did get you something here. We would like to officially thank you for being our special co-anchor. Oh, my God. PX that, News this is, What is it? Is it a, a burp towel? <laughs> it's cashmere. Oh, no. It's a sweatshirt. Sorry. <laughs> that is lovely. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Right. I appreciate yeah. it so much. And, and it, was, it was wonderful to be here. It really was. Stay classy. <laughs> what? Oh, man. Come again? Thank you. Oh, is, am I supposed to read that? This is BBC News. I'm Carol Walker. Starting at Houghton Avenue and going all the way to State Avenue. Drivers are down to the single lane in each direction. Chris Belisario, the stilt walker. I was originally going to come uh, in between her uh, legs, but yeah, that's not what was not going to happen. Would not have made for good TV had she fallen over. So we're not trying to create a liability. Um, when my son was teething, he used to like to take the big fat rubber end of my vibrating toothbrush and put it in his mouth on okay. and he just kind of sit there like oh yeah that feels good that hits the spot my gums are itchy mega millions here we go this is it i can't see it does cool. this come and then weather comes up yeah 363 there commercials after me. three do you know your numbers oh there they are okay. is that 19? a two 
19? No way. 44. Talk to me. 44. Oh, you got a 34. 44. You have a 34. You have a 34. Have a 34. Right, I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Nine. There's a 51. I'm what not making this up. 24. This is shocking. Oh, this my is, God. Wait, what just happened? Hold on. <laughs> wait a minute. What just happened here? Wait a minute. I can't. Did that, wait a minute. Was that? What? What just happened? Is that what I happened? have no idea. We can't do the news. We can't do this right now. Wait a minute. <laughs> what just happened? Have him, have, have him say him. Have him say him. What are the numbers? Do you remember them? He doesn't remember them. <laughs> you may. Ten seconds. Right, Can you do the weather? Let's... Okay, you ready? It'll be. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I'm ready for it now. I'm okay, ready. he's right. ready. Uh, you ready? I'm gonna. I'm ready. Yeah, three minutes. Okay. okay. And Stephanie, you ready? Ready. Go. <laughs> Here's the forecast for today. Presently, right now, it's about 70 degrees under sunny skies. And of course, those temperatures will be increasing just a little bit. Let's go to the next map for you. All right, here we go. Temperatures around the area are into the 70s. We got 69 degrees up around the northeast area. And of course, uh, that dew point is actually going to increase to the upper 60s to the low 70s. Next map, please. All right, yesterday we got up to about 87 degrees. No problem, no problem at all. 87 degrees for the high. No rainfall in the forecast. 101 was back in the year of 2010. All right, next map. All right, latest in our radar. Right now, of course, we continue to have those dry conditions. We got to advance to the next map there for you. Nothing developing. So here's the forecast. 93 for today. Winds out of the west. Three to six. Quite cloudy and humid. Humid, 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 humid. One minute, no problem, I got this. By tonight, we're down to 73 degrees southwest wind at 3 to 6 miles an hour. We may see a little shower, it could be a little muggy out there. All right, let's give you the 73 days for the 93 for today, 93 tomorrow, 92 on, uh, say, Saturday. Sunday, that's Father's Day. Can you believe that? Hey, we're going to get up to 96 degrees. And then as we get to Monday, it's going to be 97. It's going to be hot. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. As James Brown would say it. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Time for the weather temperatures. Have you ever done the weather before? This will be a Batman first. It's always rather cool and cloudy in Gotham City, isn't it? Tad bit. Yeah, so maybe <laughs> Washington feels a little bit like Gotham City today. You want to try to do the weather? Let's go for All it. Right, I didn't realize we we're going to have a superhero here today. All right, I'm out of your way. Good luck, Batman. Okay. Let's see. We have temperatures in Baltimore, <laughs> 70 degrees. Stevensville, 64 degrees. Western Maryland, Cumberland. Again, 64 degrees. You get pretty good, Batman. How warm is it going to get today? Any idea? Temperatures should rise to about 73, maybe 74. 74 degrees. All right. Woo! I didn't realize we had superheroes here today. Woo! Yes. I'm an honorary member of Storm Force. <laughs> Hang on. There it is. Yes, hang on. Uh, I haven't worn in quite some time. I filled out a little bit. There you go. What do you think, Batman? It's not, it's not quite the same. No, uh, I'm not wearing hockey pads. I'm hoping, to jo I'm hoping to join you and Robin on a little adventure later today. Tucker, I think you should leave the superhero <laughs> business to Batman. All right. All right, Batman, you do the weather. I'm out of here. <laughs> It'll be a little bit sunny, a little bit cloudy. But as my friend Annie says, the sun will come out tomorrow, and it will be a gorgeous Friday 
and Saturday. All right. There we go. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much for being a good sport. Here's your Friday forecast. We got some showers back in the forecast today. Batman, take it away for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Oh, why don't we do this? Okay. <laughs> we have Wednesday. No, we just did that. Thursday, <laughs> breezy, high of 71. Friday, TGIF, mostly sunny and 72. Saturday, warming up to 78. And happy Mother's Day, Gail Werner Hubberman. 74 degrees on Sunday. A few scattered, scattered showers, but it shouldn't mess up your barbecues. All right, I think you're going to take my job as well as uh, have your own full-time position. All right, guys, that's the official forecast. Never done it with a superhero before. So I'm going to hand the microphone over to my buddy Danny here, and go Wildcats. All right, hey, Paul, get you inside. Enjoy that game. We'll see you back here at 10 o'clock.